Why should I be interested in time? Me and my mum not the two. Have you ever wondered why you have to go into the future at the rate that you do, Every at the speed morning. that you do? Do you get up and, and, and look at yourself in the mirror and say, why am I getting older? Why do I appear to be getting older faster? Is it just because I keep working with Brian Cox that I'm going grey? Or is there some more profound reason? <laughs> You're not going grey, by the way. I've got a couple of greys. Spinning a bit. Yeah. I don't know. Not spinning. <laughs> it's all that frog poison you put on your head. But that's why you should care. It's, it's actually quite profound. That's why you should care. Because you, if, if you want to ask... The, the thing is about science, it's about understanding the most basic questions. It really is. It's the simplest things. Why do we exist and why does existence feel the way it does? And one of the most important things about existing is that time passes. And so if you want to understand why, it, you know, why existence feels like this, then you need to know what time is and why it passes in the way that it does. Or why you move through it in the way that it does. I'd like to understand what the the cutting edge thinking about time is. And j because I'm a particle physicist, I don't know that. I mean, it's, it's the domain of the, the cosmologists, really, the people who think about how the universe began. And I genuinely don't know what the cutting edge thinking is. And even the stuff that I've read, I don't understand properly. So it would be marvellous if I got to the end of this program and actually understood what the the best guess is as to what the, uh, the origin of time is and what time does, why it passes, why it takes so long to make a TV programme. You know,